Britain's Foreign Office has made public thousands of lost colonial-era files, and the documents reveal efforts to destroy and reclassify sensitive papers. The Foreign Office was forced to admit last year as a result of a high court case brought by Kenyans involved in the Mau Mau Rebellion that it held some 8,800 files, which were migrated to Britain from colonies at the time of independence because of their sensitivity. The documents, secretly sent back to the UK when former colonies became independent, shed new light on how British officials ran overseas territories. They include detailed accounts of the policy of seizing livestock of people suspected of aiding the Mau Mau insurgency in Kenya, as well as secret plans to deport a Greek Cypriot leader, despite starting talks with him to end a violent rebellion in 1955. What is coming through is, is a range of material on security, defense, a, a whole range of matters uh, across policy, some of which do relate to um, the Mau Mau uprising um, and how the British dealt with that. The files also contain concerns of the anti-American and anti-white tendency of Kenyan students sent to study in the U.S. in 1959, the year that U.S. President Barack Obama's Kenyan father enrolled at a university in Hawaii. He went to the University of Hawaii, and obviously if this program had not gone ahead, um, then he would never have gone to Hawaii and would never have met his future wife, and therefore Barack Obama would not have been born, so yes. Wednesday's releases are the first of six batches, in a process due to be completed by November 2012. Travis Brecker, Reuters.